Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix not by going through language features one by one, but by building things. And today I've got a question from a viewer, Niccolo X, and he was asking about the CMS series, where he uh, primarily wanted to know about the entity's integration with episode forms. And I would say the general thrust of the question is, how do you update or how do you create something that has a has one or a belongs to relationship through a Phoenix form. So let's get into it. Let's start with the users because they're actually a bit simpler than episodes. The users have names, usernames, an is member flag, and they have one credential. The credential is where the email, password hash, Stripe ID, that kind of thing is stored. They each belong to a user. So credentials can access their associated users and vice versa. In the user controller, things are pretty straightforward. New users are created by getting a change set from the accounts context, and then we pass that along to new.html. Same kind of thing happens with edit.html, and both of those embed a form. And we have a form four helper that wraps the entire form. It takes a change set, an action, and a function with a single parameter of F, which shows up throughout our form. We have labels and inputs for names, usernames, and each of the fields throughout our form. The bottom, there is a submit. However, inside the form, there's also an inputs for helper that references the form and the has one association of credential and takes another function with single parameter I've called CF for credential form. Inside of this, we just add labels and text inputs for each of the fields of the credential. So this would be the user.credential.email and same thing for the, the virtual fields of password and password confirmation. When this form is submitted, this associated credential and each of its fields will get passed to the user controller and dealt with as normal. So you don't have to do any extra logic here. However, in the create user in the accounts context, we've got a little bit of extra logic. We've got this ecto.changeset.castasoc with credential and credential registration change set. And that's really all we have to do. All right, on to the episodes. Episodes are fairly similar. They have a few fields of their own, content, seconds long, slug, title, and video URL. And they have a belongs to relationship with entities. Entities are common to articles, episodes, and resources. And they have many to many relationships with both topics and users. They hold a few Boolean flags. Is premium, is published, and it requires login, as well as a view count for whatever item it is, an article, an episode, or a resource. And it turns out that even though this is a belongs to instead of a has one, the forms work pretty much the same. The episode controller is doing the same thing, just getting a change set from the context and passing that along to either a new or an edit.html template, and each of those embed a form. The episode form looks pretty much the same as the user form. Everything's wrapped inside of a form four, and there are form groups with labels and inputs for each of the fields on episodes themselves. Then further down the form, there is an inputs for helper that references a form, the entity that the episode belongs to, and has a function with a callback I've called EF for entity form. Inside of that, we've got labels and inputs, or labels and checkboxes, I should say, for the fields in the entity, is premium, requires login, and is published. So when this form gets submitted, the episode parameters will include an associated entity that the episode knows what to do with. There's one other piece of complexity in this form though, and that is it's also sending topics 
which I'm just passing in as a string from a field I added to the form. And this is a text input. I've called it topics. And the data that populates it, I've passed into the form with another assigns I called tags. And I essentially handle this on my own without using ecto relations. And that's because there are a lot of different ways to do this. And I've chosen to handle it a bit more manually. So after getting a new episode created, I call a function content.addTags. And I pass in this string of topics, the function that I've written in a previous episode in the CMS series, breaks them apart into a list and then make sure that the episode has those topics and only those topics associated with it. So basically all you need to worry about for a belongs to or has one relationship in a form is this inputs for helper and reference either that has one or that belongs to. And then inside of the inputs for block, you can reference all of the fields of that associated schema. That's it for this time. If you found it useful, then subscribe on YouTube and join alchemist.camp and you will get more tutorials like it. Till next time, code on.